you will crack up if you do not know how to make everybody fall in love with you and nobody is willing to fall in love with you unless you are willing to throw your life at them. The third one is integrity, because where there is no integrity, there will be no trust. Where there is no trust, again, life will become extremely torturous if you live among people who don't trust you. And if you live among people that you don't trust, it's even worse. <laughs> yes or no? The moment you don't trust people around you, it's hell, isn't it? So integrity is a very integral part. But unfortunately, I find integrity is a serious problem in the country. Too many people are innocent of integrity. They don't know what it means. They… they can do anything without any sense of… Uh, I have had the misfortune of being… moving in close proximity with various leaders. I have seen some truly fabulous leaders, but I have watched so many other leaders with enormous pain because the nation in so many ways is in their hands. Still this is a country where sixty percent of the people have not eaten properly, forget about anything else. Here there is a different self sense of responsibility, there is a different sense of urgency about this nation. But if you spend twenty-four hours with some leaders, it amazes me and it used to scare me <coughs> that in twenty-four hours they don't get a single thought, what can I do for the country today, not a single thought in their mind. But because people have mastered either how to pass IAS or how to win an election, they've learned the trick and they've gotten there and they're somehow going on. But this is a privilege. Being a leader is a privilege. It is not a power, it is not some kind of fancy. It's a privilege that other people place their life in your hands. Because after all, if you do any physical activity in the world, you want to touch people's lives as profoundly as possible.